Damaged power lines left many homes without power. Hundreds of shops closed, flights cancelled and public transport suspended due to the extreme weather. A powerful typhoon has battered southern Japan with storms and torrential rains, causing power outage, major transport disruptions and the evacuation of thousands of people. Forecasters warn it of strong winds and high waves that have never been seen before, with the threat of river flooding and landslides. Typhoon Nanmado, classified as a super typhoon by the USA the Gen Typhoon Warning Center is slowly moving north toward in the Toland the main southern island of Kyushu. The Japan Meteorological Agency said 500 mm of rain and wind gusts of up to 115 km on hour were accepted in the era on Sunday. After that, Nanmandol is expected to turn east and reach Tokyo on Tuesday before heading out to sea. In the affected areas, thousands of residents took refuge in evacuation centers. On Sunday, more than 93,000 homes on the island were left without electricity due to damaged power lines. Hundreds of domestic flights to and from the region have been cancelled and others are scheduled to be grounded in western Japan until Tuesday. Public transport, including rail and buses, was also suspended along with the famous bullet train. Hundreds of shops were closed due to extreme weather. Typhoon Nanmado hit the island of Kushi. According to the Japan Meteorological Agency, the maximum wind speed will be 15 meters per second. Precipitation is expanded to be around 5 500 mm Japan. Another typhoon, for the second time in 10 days and forwarders, expect a ripple effect at delivery delays. According to the US Joint Typhoon Warning Center, although Typhoon Mulfa is weaker than Typhoon Jinanmar, which brought Shanghai, Ninbro and Busan to a standstill last week, is it currently on track to hit Shanghai tomorrow. Shanghai Container Terminals is Shanghai are to stop processing by 7 pm local time and the terminal will be fully closed by 8 am tomorrow morning. Ninbro's Container Terminal and shipyards were already closed this morning. A spokesman for Dimecro said Mulfa was due to pass through Shanghai in no more than a day, but at that destiny friend would be dangerous during the typhoon impact. For a long time fleet schedules were in disarray, she added, we don't expect an attestable impact and the market is very slow. However, Robinson said ships were already waiting two to four days to dock in Shanghai and Nikbo due to typhoon Hinanmore and note that Mulfa and Park would be similar. Typhoon Hinamono hit South Korea. He touched the city of Ulsan, located in the north of Busan, the second largest city in South Korea. More than 300 flights have been cancelled or delayed at 10 airports in South Korea. In some places, the railway connection was also stopped in Japan, which was the first to suffer from the typhoon. Hundreds of thousands of homes were left without electricity, but there were no major damage. 34 people were injured. About 8 million people in Japan were ordered to evacuate urgently because of the typhoon. Many prefer it to live for another prefecture rather than wait in centers of evacuation. About 5,000 houses is the very south of the Korean peninsula where they were left without electricity. Rescue service of South Korea say that the force of the wind should decrease after the typhoon reaches the coast. However, the authorities warn about the possibility of mudslides in some areas. Cities in eastern China suspended ferry service and cancelled flights in Japan on Saturday 
This typhoon hit him now. The strongest global storm is here, swept past Taiwan and Korea with strong winds and heavy rain. Hinamnor gradually moved across the East China Sea with maximum winds of 175 km per hour. On Sunday in Japan, a powerful typhoon trooped several trees in the Miyako Island, Okinawa prefecture, and temporarily cut off power to hundreds of households. Footage of Japan television showed the storm shaking trees, violent and heavy rain lashing the pavement. It's unusual for typhoons to hit a central part of Alaska, unusual in the fall, but Merbok was different. It was formed in part of the Pacific Ocean, in the far east of Japan. There were no historical new typhoons. The water there is usually too cold to sustain a typhoon, but the North Central Pacific is experiencing unusual warm water right now. Merbok traveling differently over waters that are warmed on recover 1000 years ago. In the western Green Sea, close to Russia, sea surface temperatures have Alaska. Has been normal or slightly cooler than normal since spring. This temperature difference in the Bering Sea helped foil the storm and was likely part of the reason the storm strangely to the level it did. When Marbuk entered the Bering Sea, it was the strongest storm of this early fall. We had strongest storm, but they usually happen in October or November. The most outstanding future region, the impact in the west area that was damaged. All coastal region north Bertus of Bristol Bay to the Bering Strait, hundreds of mil of coastline have had some impact. This is pretty unusual. 